Hey guys, Tiffany with another video and as you guys saw in the title, this is going to be all about the new Too Faced Pretty Rich collection. Now Jared and his team actually sent me over the whole collection. So shout out to Jared and his pink suit. Y'all already know the love-hate relationship that me and Jared share. There is an eyeshadow palette, there are lip glosses, there are highlighters, there is a brush. Now they also sent me over their mask. I don't think the mask is a part of this collection. I think it's just something that they added in maybe because of the glitter theme behind the collection and the mask is a glitter mask this is actually called the glow job <laughs> Look at Jared being nasty. Um, this is the Too Faced Glow Job Radiance Boosting Glitter Face Mask. Here's what the packaging looks like. And then on the inside, it comes like this. And the mask, I've opened it. It looks like slime. Do you guys have kids who are into slime? Because Alani is really, really into slime. So she's probably going to think this is slime and I'm going to have to keep it out of her hands. But it just looks like slime to me. Um, I'm a little hesitant to try it because someone told me the other Too Faced Glitter Mask, like the products from it got into their eye. Like they, they messaged me on Snapchat, like Tiff, be careful because I used the other Too Faced Glitter Mask or someone's glitter mask and the glitter got into my eye and I'm like, okay, now I'm scared. But we'll definitely see. I'll try to keep it away from my eye. So we'll see. Um, but everything else, I'm going to be doing swatches and showing you guys swatches throughout the video. I use the palette on my eyes today. Um, I use some of the lip glosses already. So I'm just going to kind of be inserting certain video footage and pictures as we go through. This is going to be a collection overview. I'm going to show you guys everything and then also tell you guys what I think about the collection thus far. So no more talking. Let's get started. So first off, let's start with the eyeshadow palette, um, and it's called Pretty Rich. It's the Diamond Light Eyeshadow Palette. Here's what the packaging looks like, and then the actual palette looks exactly like the box. Now, it says that these are 16 captivating shades. There is Vivid Glitters, Creamy Mattes, Opulent Shimmers, and Precious Pearls that can be layered in infinite ways to mimic the multifaceted beauty of real diamonds. So as far as the package, it's not like that tin packaging that Too Faced is known for. This one has more of like a cushiony type of feel. It is supposed to give like a jewelry box type of theme and that's what I'm noticing with all of the pieces. Now at first I thought it was going to be a little cheesy because I had already seen promo pictures for it. But when I actually see it up close it's not as cheesy as I thought it was going to be. I actually think it kind of speaks to like the inner princess in everyone. You know what I mean? So it's not as cheesy as I thought. I do think it's really cute. It's Too Faced is known for doing some cute packaging. Everybody knows that Jared can give us some good cute face. Alright, that is definitely not a secret. So I do think it's cute. Um, and out of all of their little cutesy pootsy packaging, I'm actually not as mad at this as I thought I was going to be. Now when you open it up on the inside, it comes with a mirror. The mirror has that kind of like old Victorian type of feel, you know what I mean? Don't really care for the mirror. I think it's actually too small for the packaging because they had all of this room. I feel like they could have given us a bigger mirror. So I'm not a fan of the mirror, but then here are how the shades look on the inside. Again, there are 16 shadows there is that mixture of glitters there are mattes there are shimmers there are all these good things I think that every row is supposed to be cohesive so like this row is cohesive with each other this row and so forth out of all of the rows this one was the one that really spoke to me so these are the shades that I use on my eyes today I use this shade in my outer corner I use this shade as my all over lid shade I used some of the gold glitter in my inner corner and blended it upwards and then I used this color right here on my lid as well. Um, I am going to again be showing you guys swatches throughout me talking about it but after kind of just like playing around with the palette 
I don't think that all of the shadows perform amazing. I feel like you definitely have to work with quite a few of the shades. They're not as pigmented as they look like they may be right off the bat. This shade right here is the original one I wanted to wear on my lid, but I felt like I was really having to pack it on and I got kind of annoyed, so I decided to go with this shade. But overall, I really do love the finished look of what I came up with, but originally it was supposed to be that shade on the lid right there. That shade is highly selective fun names really fun names in the palette but highly selective was not as pigmented as i wanted it to be and then swatching the glitters and using that one on my eye they are more of like a cream glitter almost which is a good and a bad thing it's a good thing because you don't necessarily have to use anything to adhere the glitter to your eye i didn't have to use any fix plus or any mixing medium or glitter glue or anything like that it adhered to the eye really well but i also feel like because of that you're gonna go through the product a lot faster um it kind of reminds me of those glitter palettes from like claire's <laughs> you guys know like back in the day when you really thought you was doing this so you go get your little glitter palette from claire's girl that's the feel of these glitters so on that end i really didn't care for it um i think you have some nice shades in here it's not a cohesive enough palette for me i did have to pull in another palette to get a color for my transition and for my crease because y'all know your girl loves her a good nice warm shade and that shade was not pigmented enough to be a transitional shade but it was great as an all over lid this beautiful beautiful deep chocolate shade worked great on the outer v it's a lot deeper than what it looks so it almost looks black where to the point i didn't feel like i needed a black but just all together i don't think the colors are cohesive enough in here for me to just be like a standalone palette i think it's nice i don't think it's amazing i wasn't blown away by it and i don't necessarily feel like it's a must to your collection i think it's a nice added bonus for other colors that you already have but i just wasn't blown away as feeling as though this is the only thing that i'm gonna need so for that reason i don't think you truly need to pick it up but i do think if you have the extra money lying around i'm mean, there are some nice pretty shades in there the glitters like i said they work nice but i do think you're going to get through them pretty fast but i don't necessarily think it's a must have just a nice addition to what you already have child jerry probably like you know what she's off the list that's it tiffany's off the list don't do me like that jerry so next up, let's go ahead and jump into the highlighters. Um, these are called the Diamond Fire Highlighters. They did come out with three shades. So here is what the packaging looks like for those. Again, I think it's cute because it kind of plays up to like the whole jewelry box theme. And I don't really remember seeing that from Too Faced before. I could be wrong, but I don't remember seeing that. It's kind of like when you open it up, there's a little box on the inside. You know what I mean? Kind of like, ooh, he went to Jared. Jared went to Jared. So I don't know. I think it's really cute. Um, when you open it up, like I said, there's a little smaller box on the inside. And then that is where you'll find the highlighter. This one right here is a fancy pink diamond. Again, it is that cushiony type of packaging. So it's not that hard cover that we're used to seeing from Too Faced but I also think it's still well packaged enough that it'll keep your product safe. Um, it has this little thing in the front as if it were a jewelry box and you pushed it and it springs open but it doesn't work. It's just there for decoration. Um, you open it up on the inside. This one is fancy pink diamond. All of them have more of like a dual chrome type of shift to them. This one has more of like a pinky gold type of shift. I'm not necessarily mad at it. It's not my first choice. I think that for deeper skin tones, you'll still be able to use this, but you just kind of have to play around with it a little more. Like you have to do just a little bit of manipulation, but you can definitely wear it. Um, just again, the color selection. It's not my first choice in a highlighter. For me, I feel like this would be bomb as like a blush topper almost, but it was not my favorite of the three. Uh, next up we have, let's go into 
which one is this one this one is diamond fire I think that this one is the most unique of the three because this one has like all kind of different shifts to it depending on how you're looking at it like there's a blue reflex in there I feel like you see a little purple almost there's some pink there's some golds like this one to me is the most unique I think if you are someone who likes the whole unicorn theme and you like those unicorn type of highlighters then you would love this y'all know I'm not necessarily a fan of the unicorn okay so I'm not gonna stomp it out just because I don't like it but I do think if you like those type of things or you want to go for like a different highlighter even if you look back at a lot of the highlighters that are being released now I don't think they're the traditional highlighters I think they're still in that whole unicorn era they're giving us blues and greens and purples and things because people like to be different now me I, I like what I like okay <laughs> so I don't think I would get the most use out of this one unless I'm just like really trying to be out there but I do think that this one is the most unique of the three and then finally you have canary diamond canary diamond comes in the yellow packaging and then here is what canary diamond looks like on the inside you can already see that this one is the most pigmented one um, this one has a really pretty like gold finish but there's also like a pink reflect in there too as well it is what I'm wearing today and I have to tell you guys it's it's not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be like just looking at this one I thought it was going to be just like boom pigmentation right out the bat but you definitely can build this up but don't be afraid of this one because it's not as pigmented as you would think it would be right out the gate but I do think it's probably my favorite it's the prettiest and I think that if you are of a deeper skin tone this is the one that is going to stand out the most on you it is glittery though I will tell you that so you have to be careful if you're like me and you have texture issues you want to be a little careful as to how you apply it but I think you can still blend it out well enough I also have it here on my nose to where it just gives you a really really pretty finish so this one definitely hands down my favorite of the three so the collection also comes with a brush this is the Too Faced diamond light highlighting brush here is how it looks it comes with a pointy end on it where you can stab somebody if they roll up to you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding because I don't want nobody to do that and be like, well, Tip said, so we're not going to do that. But it does have a really pointed end to it. Um, it's a rounded brush. I generally am not a fan of using a rounded brush for highlighter. I like to use a fluffier brush when it comes to my highlighters. I tried to use it today. I didn't really feel like it gave the best blend but pause that because I did find another use for it I ended up using it to apply my contour <laughs> Jared I know that's not what you uh, put it out there in the universe for a baby but let me just tell you this works amazing to just get there in that little crevice so I actually really like this as a contour brush I'm just saying there's also a better than sex mascara that's included in this collection it's the better than sex and diamonds limited edition mascara here's what the packaging looks like um funny thing about this I thought it was like diamond infused or something when they said that but it's the same as the regular better than sex mascara but the packaging is different can you guys see the diamonds on it is my light too bright let's turn it down a little bit so you guys can see um sometimes I forget I'm still playing around with lighting I like to take pictures before I film and I need my light to be brighter when I'm taking the pictures so then I kind of just go straight into filming and then I realize when I'm editing that I should have turned the light down so I apologize y'all just bear with me but can you guys see the diamonds on the pack well they're not real diamonds calm down but <laughs> the diamond effect should I say on the mascara packaging so it's the same formula it's the same Too Faced better than sex formula um, but it's just that the packaging of it is limited edition so if you like the Too Faced mascara the better than sex mascara already and you need it to re-up on it anyway I think you know okay then go ahead and get this for the packaging but other otherwise it's the same exact mascara and then finally we have the glosses these are the rich and dazzling high shine sparkling lip glosses there are six um, and I don't know if you guys can tell of the six 
one has totally different packaging that is this one right here this one is actually supposed to be a collaboration now i feel like it's too dark so i'm going to turn my light up just a little bit more this one is a collaboration with jordan woods if you guys don't know who jordan woods is most people know her as kylie jenner's best friend sad to say but that is the title that she has um but she's actually her own person and I'm really happy to see that she's stepping out and doing her own things and not just being known as Kylie Jenner's best friend. Uh, so this one is in collaboration with her. This one is called Social Butterfly. Now this is the one I heard a lot of people talking about. And when I opened it up, I thought it was a really pretty color. This one has more of like a... If I could get it. Oh, okay. Okay. So this one has more of like a corally peachy type of feel to it. I actually tried this on before I changed it to this color because I really didn't like how it went like as a whole with my outfit and everything and my makeup. But I thought that the color of it was really pretty so I'll try to go ahead and insert a picture of that so you guys can see how this looks on the lips. Now I will say that these do have like a glittery type of texture to it. And when I tried this one on, you could feel the glitter in the gloss. It wasn't like super rough or super crunchy. You know what I mean? How some glitter shades are, which is why I usually try to steer away from them. It wasn't like that. It was a comfortable glitter, if that is a thing. So I did actually, you know, like this one. I will say that. I'm going to go ahead, like I said, include the picture so you guys can definitely see how that looks on the lips. But I will so watch these as well. I didn't do a pre-swatch of these so I'll go ahead and swatch it now but again it's a gloss and I do have melanin so it's probably going to be a little hard to see them but that one is social butterfly right there and then I'll go ahead matter of fact I think I'll probably just go ahead and swatch these off camera so you guys can get a better feel of them because I know if I try to swatch them right now on camera you guys aren't going to see much so I'll try to go ahead and swatch those off camera so you guys can see but I will just show you guys each one um this one is sunset crush so that is how sunset crush looks this one has more of like a nudie gold glitter type of look to it next up we have raisin the roof here is a raisin the roof this one almost has like a bronzy raisin type of feel next up we have all the stars i think all the stars is pretty this one i don't think this one will be pretty like on its own because of all the different it's like silvery glitters in there has almost like a white silver gold type of finish so i don't think this one would be great on its own this one to me probably would be like a really great lip topper but i'm not sure if i would just wear that by itself next up we have pretty penny and you guys can you know tell usually by the names of it how it's gonna come out looking so pretty penny is a coppery penny type of finish that's pretty penny right there and then finally we have a 401k I just thought that was <laughs> such a cute name. Here is 401k. 401k reminds me of that one shade that Too Faced likes to put in all of their palettes. You know, they didn't put it in this one though. Kudos to you, Jared, for stepping out. But you know, you guys know that Too Faced loves to put a color like this. They love to throw a color like this inside their collection. So this one is 401k, and this one to me is probably the most pigmented of the six. So, like I said, I will have swatches. I'm sure at some point you guys have already seen the swatches thrown in but that is everything from the Too Faced Pretty Rich collection just as a whole I have to tell you guys I was not as blown away with the eyeshadow palette as I thought I was going to be because of the glitters because recently I've been loving a good glitter as I said to you guys before I don't necessarily think it's a must-have but I do think it would be a nice addition to your collection the glosses are really pretty they're not that annoying glitter gloss that a lot of glitter glosses are so they are um, comfortable on the lips they are something that you can work with so if you love a good glitter gloss I think these have some nice pigmentation and some nice shine to them 
I know that the palette was supposed to be the standout of the collection, but I actually really think that the highlighters are. I think that the highlighters are nice. Um, like I said, that one canary diamond or canary canary yellow, that one was definitely my favorite. It does have some glitter to it, but it is a blendable glitter, and I think the finish of it is absolutely gorgeous. So I do really like that. Um, and then the brush, I like the brush, but not for highlighting. I definitely like the brush for contour, and I feel like you can never go wrong with the good contour brush so you know makeup is not one size fits all if you can't make it work for one thing you should always try to make it work for something else so I definitely found me a new contour brush okay but overall I think the collection is cute do I think it's a must-have honestly no I think if you have the extra coins lying around I think if there's a nice sale going on definitely pick it up I don't think everything in the collection are things that you need I think you can kind of pick and choose one or two things from the collection and be fine with that but I just wasn't as blown away with it as I would have wanted it to be but I'm definitely thankful that they sent it out and I was able to review it for you guys let me know what you think of the products down below in the comment section let me know if you're interested in picking any of this up let me know what you think about the look that I created using it and anything else that you want to tell me down below because you guys know I love and appreciate your feedback as always thank you for continuing Continuing to support here on my channel. Love and appreciate you all, and until next time. Bye, YouTube.